incredible. I didn't realize how many elephants were here. This is utter magic. Watching them slip and slide, play on the wall. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is really, truly incredible. What a beautiful sighting. I think this is the most elephants I've ever seen out in the open like this. Oh, this is stunning. Apparently it's Fang's herd, which of course has me desperately looking for the little one that I saw when it was only just a few hours old. Which Brent has never quite forgiven me for because he was the one who found the placenta. But it was magic. And the sounds, just listen, just listen. This is so cool. And you know what half of those noises are, in my opinion? Overstretched females trying to discipline youngsters. Overexcited. They've been swimming and slipping and sliding and now they've they're chasing each other around, the big ones are bullying the little ones, and the females are frantically trying to keep them all under control. They're like overburdened school teachers on a field trip. That's what half of those trumpeting screams and noises are for. Too cool. There's Fang at the back. Here goes Fang there, with her backwards facing tusk. Little ones accompanying her. Oh, chaos! Utter chaos! Oh, there's one baby that's fallen in the mud. Mm, bar in the way, sorry Craig, that was my fault. But you, that little baby's desperately trying to catch up with the rest of them. The cedar point, you want to know if the herds will fight with each other. Not really, no. You do sometimes get a degree of agitation, but a lot of the time it's just happy to see each other. And particularly the youngsters get a bit overwrought in the whole process. And they see friends of theirs, they go running to greet them, they play, they, they get involved in the whole process. And it does mean that the females have to do a little bit of talking and communicating to sort that all out. And Fang's herd is big, but this is not all of Fang's herd. This, I mean, this is not all just Fang's herd. This must be at least two herds together, probably more. I would guess lots more. I'm gonna go forward a little bit now, just so we can get all of the action without the roof in the way. This is epic! Who needs to go anywhere when you've got this right on your doorstep? Taylor, how cool is this? I know you're watching in the tent. Let's see what kind of a view that gives Craig, or if I've made life more difficult. No, I think I've made it slightly better. Little ones playing in the mud. Oh man, it makes me want to be an elephant. Are oh, you more than welcome, no problem. There's just another vehicle wanting to know that they weren't going to get in our way. I'm not bothered at all, they must come and see this. It's, too fantastic for words, especially if you're a guest that's paid so much money and it's been pouring with rain. These moments make up for it. Hmm. How many did we count? How many elephants have you counted, all of you? Have we got... Okay, so there's a conclusion that there was maybe about 60, but there could be more. And the cool thing is, is that those elephants that we were with earlier, I think this is all part of one group. 
I think that the elephants just stretch all the way from here to where I was. This doesn't happen all the time. This is special. What is that one at the back doing, Craig? There's one on the ground behind, close to that dead tree. Um, a little bit to the right there. A little bit to the right, but further to the right. Oh, I think he's up now. Oh, he's up. He was sitting on his backside, waving his trunk in the air. Fully grown male. Sitting on its bottom, waving its trunk up in the air. I love it. <laughs> Uh, H. Macy, speaking of elephant body language, you want to know why do they grab their tusks with their trunks? Uh, some of the time it can actually be a sign of aggression, uh, particularly from big dominant bulls. They wrap their, they sort of rest their trunk over their tusks as a way of showing just how massive they are. But it's not always the case. In the case of these young bulls, they're not quite at that stage just yet. Although that, that is, that's the gang of teenage boys that is at a party with their parents, but they're a little bit too grown up and a little bit too cool. Uh, they kind of have to go off on their own, a little bit separately to the rest of the social group. That's what's happening there. Five young troubles. There's the biggest one on the left. He's obviously the leader of the gang. They're all gonna look up to him. Oh, and there's a bit of bullying going on, prodding in the side. It's so cool. I had to come here, I just had to. I could hear them all the way from where we were and I just had to come and have a look. I know Taylor's been with them on the damn camera, but when I heard that it was Fang especially... So much talking going on. Now, not only do the females have to contend with overwrought youngsters, but males as well. A couple of big bulls that are also causing chaos in the herd, and then slightly younger bulls who are fighting each other. So all of the noises that we've been hearing are elephants upsetting elephants. Cook, you wanted to know... <laughs> Somebody's venting their frustration. When in doubt, throw a stick around. I can't even remember. Oh, Cook, you want to know if there's, they're any, under any danger from a lurking lion? No. Uh, there aren't any lions in this area that we know of. It's always a possibility that a lion might pop out, a surprise lion, but uh, that we haven't realized is here, especially after rain. But the chances of a lion hunting an elephant, especially in this area, is so slim. And they don't like lions and they will chase them if they see them. But I don't think that's what's causing the upset here. Elephants are not often hunted by lions. They are occasionally when it is their only possible food source because it's dangerous and it's usually only lion prides that have learned the technique. And these young bulls that are scuffling off to the left there are now running to join the rest. Those young bulls would be the target of a lion hunt. They're young enough that they're on the outskirts and they're almost at the point where they're going to start. <laughs> and you, little one, what are you doing? You silly monster. You lost your mum. No, you just, you're just in chaos. Now you're trying to be, now one of the other females trying to gather the young one up. You just be naughty. It does occasionally happen that young elephants get separated from their mothers, but not for long. Mom is always hyper vigilant and a host of babysitters will be on hand to go and collect it. I never want this to end. I want them all to come back again. I wish they would. Hey, little boy. This has all been very exciting, hasn't it? friends to play with. When we first came onto the damn wall, we actually had to do a very rapid retreat backwards because there was a female chasing a young male away. 
and she was about to come barreling into us. We had to do reverse very quickly away from her and put a tree between us. Cool. I'm glad that I got to come and experience this as well. It's just been so special, but I know that Taylor was watching them over the damn camera and from our views, let's go and find out how she's feeling about all of this. <laughs> 